If you're in need of a fun cookie recipe for the holidays, I'm gonna show you how to make Grinch cookies today. You're not gonna wanna miss it. Hey everyone, it's Dorothy with crazyforcrust.com and welcome back to my kitchen. Um, these cookies, I made them last year and they were one of my most popular holiday cookie recipes. It's perfect for kids or if you're having a Grinch themed party, it is Grinch cookies. These are green sugar cookies with a heart sprinkle on the side, just like the Grinch. For more delicious desserts and easy recipes, be sure to subscribe to my channel. Now let's get in the kitchen. This recipe starts with three quarters of a cup of unsalted butter that's been softened, and you're gonna add three quarters of a cup of granulated sugar. Now cream that together. You can use a hand mixer or a stand mixer. You're gonna mix that until it's nice and fluffy and mixed together and smooth. Once your mixture is creamed, we're gonna add one large egg and an egg yolk. Now the egg yolk is my secret to getting a chewier sugar cookie. Then you're gonna need a teaspoon of vanilla extract, a half of a teaspoon of salt, a half of a teaspoon of baking soda, and a half of a teaspoon of cream of tartar. Now, the cream of tartar is super important because it keeps them nice and soft. So these are soft and chewy cookies. Um, I love the combination for this sugar cookie recipe. It's super simple. And if you don't have cream of tartar or you can't find it, you can substitute a half teaspoon of lemon juice. Mix that together until it's nice and smooth, and then you're going to add two cups of all-purpose flour. And mix that in, make sure that you are measuring your flour correctly so that you don't have too much. Once you have the dough, it is time to turn these into Grinch sugar cookies, and you're gonna do that by dyeing the dough green. Now, I am using just green food coloring from the grocery store, um, but you can also use gel food coloring if you have that. Just know you're gonna need to use a little bit more if you're using the food coloring from the grocery store, the water-based food coloring. If you're using gel food coloring, you won't need as much. So for the grocery store one, I'm using probably about 15 drops, um, but anywhere between 10 and 20. I would err on the side of adding less to start with and then mixing it. If you don't like the color, go ahead and add some more. Um, you can always take it, um, you can always add more, but you can't take the color out once you add it. And again, with the gel, you'll only need a drop or two. Go ahead and mix that until it's nice and green. And then you're gonna use a two tablespoon cookie scoop, or you can make these smaller and use a one tablespoon cookie scoop and scoop them onto your cookie sheets. Um, my cookie sheets are lined with silicone baking mats, but you can also use parchment paper. And um, you don't need to worry about chilling this dough. That's what I love about this cookie recipe. Um, go ahead and space them about two inches apart. And as soon as they're dropped, you're gonna go ahead and bake them at 350 degrees for about 10 to 15 minutes minutes until they just lose the glossy sheen on top. That's how you can tell that they're done. Now, where does that heart come from? The heart sprinkle. I am using these large heart sprinkles. I just got these. I think these were from Walmart one Valentine's Day. Um, you can find heart-shaped sprinkles on Amazon all year long. Um, so you can use any size that you want. These are pretty large, which is why I use the two tablespoon cookie scoop. Um, but if you're using a smaller sprinkle, you could you make um, smaller cookies. And then as soon as these come out of the oven, you wanna press that sprinkle on the side of the cookie. Um, I like doing this after they are done baking, as soon as, it, like literally as soon as they come out of the oven because the sprinkle is gonna kind of melt into the cookie and that's how it will adhere to the cookie. Um, if you wait till they cool, these sprinkles will not stick. Um, you can also add the sprinkle to the cookie um, before baking, but then you're not really going to be able to gauge what the placement of the cookie of the sprinkle is because as they spread, the cookie is not going to the sprinkle is not going to be exactly where you want it to be um, if you put them on before they go in the oven as the cookie spreads. Um, but once they come out, you can place them exactly where you want. Either way, you can do what you want. Just make sure to do it after if you do it after to do it that when they're hot, so that the sprinkle will kind of melt into the cookie and stick then let them cool and it is time to enjoy them. Once they're cool, you have Grinch cookies. These are perfect. They're super fun for a Grinch themed party or for kids or for a, a, a kid's Christmas party or just anytime you feel like a great 
fun new sugar cookie. Um, they are, to taste like my great sugar cookies. You don't need frosting for these. They're sweet enough without frosting. You could also roll these um, in sugar before baking if you want a little, add a little bit of crunch. Um, but these are super fun and I know that you're gonna love them. Leave me a comment and let me know what your favorite holiday movie is and keep watching for even more Christmas recipes.